Hello again, masterminds. More jokes are waiting for us on Reddit to react to. I've tried calling Stephen Hawking many times. I keep getting his answering machine. <laughs> <laughs> I asked a prostitute, how much for a hand job? 50. Do you want one, honey? No, no. It just makes me happy to know how much I save when I do it myself. <laughs> If they say girls like guys who can make them laugh, then I shouldn't be single because my life is a fucking joke. <laughs> uh, I witnessed the breakup of an obese couple. I guess they didn't work out. <laughs> knee slap, knee jiggle, knee wobble, knee tickle, dick up my pickle. <laughs> knee replacement. What is Donald Trump's favorite type of clothing? Russian ties. Don't believe in the Russia bullshit entirely. It's more of uh, smoke and mirrors. For people to not accept responsibility for losing the election. Fucking Democrats. I hate when I have diarrhea, because not even my shit has its shit together. <laughs> <laughs> Wives are sex objects. Every time you ask for sex, she objects. A naked woman robbed a bank filled with men. But nobody could remember her face. <laughs> it would have been weird if they made prosthetic boobs way back when. Wouldn't it? Why did the gay man want to go to Iran? He heard all the gays were hung. <laughs> I'm free, I'm free. A prisoner is finally released after many years in jail. He stands at the pavement yelling, I'm free, I'm free. A little kid walks up to him happily and joins, I'm far, I'm far. <laughs> so much tax evasion in America. Almost like the country is founded on it or something. A feminist asked me how I view lesbian relationships. Apparently, in HD was an answer she wanted to hear. <laughs> A blonde rings up an airline. She asks, how long are your flights from America to England? The woman on the other end of the phone says, Just a minute. The blonde says, Thanks, and hangs up the phone. <laughs> What's the difference between white fairy tales and black fairy tales? White fairy tales start out once upon a time, and black fairy tales start out, Yo, motherfucker isn't gonna believe this shit. <laughs> What's a male tea bag called? A Hebrew. <laughs> what do you call Muslims mating? Fucking terrorists. What do you call white supremacist mating siblings? <laughs> Don't fart in bed. This is a story about a couple who had been happily married for years. The only friction in their marriage was the husband's habit of farting loudly every morning when he awoke. <laughs> the noise would wake his wife and the smell would make her eyes water and make her gasp for air. <laughs> Every morning she would plead with him to stop ripping them off because it was making her sick. <laughs> he told her he couldn't stop and that it was perfectly natural. She told him to see a doctor. She, <laughs> she was concerned that one day he would blow his guts out. <laughs> the years went by and he continued to rip them out. <laughs> Then one Thanksgiving morning, as she was preparing the turkey for dinner and he was upstairs sound asleep, she looked at the bowl where she had put the turkey innards and neck, gizzard, liver, and all the spare parts, and a malicious thought came to her. <laughs> she took the bowl and went upstairs where her husband was sound asleep, and, gently pulling back the bed covers, she pulled back the elastic waistband of his underpants and emptied the bowl of turkey guts into his shorts. Some time later, she heard her husband waken with his usual trumpeting, which was followed by a blood-curdling scream and the sound of frantic footsteps as he ran into the bathroom. The wife could hardly control herself as she rolled on the floor laughing, tears in her eyes. After years of torture, she reckoned she had got him back pretty good. About 20 minutes later, her husband came downstairs in his blood-stained underpants with a look of horror on his face. She bit her lip as she asked him what was the matter. He said, Honey, you were right. All these years you have warned me, and I didn't listen to you. What do you mean? asked his wife. Well, you always told me that one day I would end up farting my guts out. And today it finally happened. But by the grace of God, some Vaseline and these two fingers, I think I got most of them back. <laughs>
forgetful couple. An elderly couple went to see their physician because the pair of them had been forgetting things as of late. The doctor performs an examination on them and concludes that they are in perfect health. He explains to them that in their old age, people naturally start forgetting things and advises them to start writing things down. That evening, while watching TV, the husband gets up. Where are you going? inquires his wife. To the kitchen to get some ice cream, he replies. Oh, I want some too. Okay, he says. But I want chocolate syrup. You better write that down. I'm not writing that down. It's easy enough to remember. I want whipped cream too. Please write it down. I got it. It. I got it. Write it down. Bah! And nuts on top. Here's a pen and paper. Will you stop it already? I got it. And he throws the pen and paper down. He's gone for about a half an hour and comes back. Puts a plate of bacon and eggs on his TV tray and one on hers. She looks at him with a nasty look. He forgot the toast. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call whole foods in Japan? Whole foods? <laughs> a police officer pulls a man over because he hadn't obeyed the stop sign. The cop approaches the window. Do you know why I pulled you over? I didn't do anything wrong. You didn't stop at the stop sign. You only slowed down, and that is still illegal. Slowing down, stopping, same thing. That's bullshit. I was still being careful. Step out of the car now. The man proceeds to step out of the car, and the officer turns him against the car. The policeman pulls the driver's pants down and shoves his baton into his ass. <laughs> Ow, what the fuck? Stop, stop. Okay, I'll stop. You're just shoving it further. Oh, I thought slowing down and stopping were the same thing. Don't worry, I'll be careful. <laughs> uh, police brutality. What's the best hotel in the world? Auschwitz. Over a million stars. <laughs> being a picture is like being a gay man in Middle East. First you're framed, then you're hanged almost immediately. <laughs> blonde woman with her cheating boyfriend. A blonde who suspects her boyfriend of cheating on her goes out and buys a gun. She goes to his apartment unexpectedly, opens the door, and sure enough, finds him naked in the arms of a redhead. Well, now she's angry. She opens her purse and takes out the gun. But as she does so, she is overcome with grief and points the gun at her own head. The boyfriend yells, no honey, don't do it. Shut up, she says, you're next. <laughs> <laughs> Did she even buy bullets? <laughs> Men are like shoelaces. They enter many holes before they tie the knot. After tying the knot, they are like belts. They see many holes, but eventually put it in the same hole every time. <laughs> My fiancé and I were looking at place to go see. She says, huh, this one contains nudity. I respond, you know what else contains nudity? What? My clothes. <laughs> Why is there no gender-neutral term for garbage man? Because garbage woman is redundant. <laughs> Life is like a well-paying job. I need to get one. <laughs> ah. Why do you refer to a priest as father? He stopped wanting you to call him daddy after you turned ten. <laughs> what happened to the accountant with diarrhea? He had to liquidate his assets. <laughs> a small boy asks his dad, Dad, what are politics? Dad says, Well, son... Let me try to explain it this way. I'm the breadwinner of the family, so let's call me capitalism. Your mom, she's the administrator of the money, so we'll call her the government. We're here to take care of your needs, so we'll call you the people. The nanny, we'll consider her the working class. And your baby brother, we'll call him the future. Now, think about that and see if that makes sense. So, the little boy goes off to bed thinking about what dad has said. Later that night, he hears his baby brother crying. So he gets up to check on him. He finds that the baby has severely soiled his diaper. The little boy goes to his parents' room and finds his mother sound asleep. Not wanting to wake her, he goes to the nanny's room. Finding the door locked, he peeks in the keyhole and sees his father having sex with the nanny. He gets up and goes back to bed. The next morning, the little boy says to his father, Dad, I think I understand the concept of politics now. The father says, Good, son. Tell me in your own words what you think politics is all about. The little boy replies, Well... While capitalism is screwing the working class, the government is sound asleep, the people are being ignored, and the future is a deep shit. <laughs> so sad. A pregnant woman is about to give birth. The doctor has her on the delivery table, legs up in the stirrups. 
Suddenly, he sees the top of a head push through. Then the baby pops its head out and says to the doctor, Are you my dad? The doctor says, No, I am your doctor. With that, the baby pops right back inside. Damn, says the doctor. A short while later, he sees the head push through again. Are you my dad? asks the baby. No, I am your doctor, he replies. Once again, the baby vanishes back into his mother's womb. The doctor turns to a nurse and says, Nurse, get that baby's father in here right away. We may have a situation on our hands. Moments later, the baby's father is in the delivery room, and the baby's head once again pops out. Are you my dad? the baby asks of the father. The father replies, Yes, little baby, I am your father. The baby then reaches up and begins poking his father in the forehead with his index finger. How do you like that? <laughs> All right, masterminds, that's it for this video. Remember, be smart for your heart. Good night.